Hi there, my name is Mackenzie Page and I'm an implementation specialist here at Evolve. So this video will be to talk about the SmartBend families and some of the features that we can use them with. So in this 3D view, I've got all of them laid out here. Um, these are just going to be the ones that are available in our family browser. So we've got our Stub90, Kick90, Kick92P, and this 2P is going to be referring to two piece. So that will enable this kick to have a coupling in the middle. And then you can essentially double your conduit stick length. So if you have it set to 10 feet, this can now be 20 feet. All right, we've got our offset, two piece offset, three point saddle, four point saddle, and four point saddle two piece. So some of the more specialized ones are going to be right over here. And then the ones that you might use on the daily are going to be right over here. Okay, so let's jump into our exercises here, and we'll kind of see some of these in action. So the first one here is align couplings. So with that, I'm going to go pretty fast through these. I want to make sure I can show you all of them. So I'm just selecting my, um, my standard one here. I'm going to hit finish, and you'll see that those will all align together. And this feature does work even if you are aligning elbows that don't have couplings enabled. So that's how it's looking there. Okay, let's show you the reset bend feature. So here I've got my fresh bends on the left. I've got them optimized in the middle and we'll see how I did this a little bit later as well. And then if you ever need to go back into coordination mode, um, what you can do is you can use this reset bend and that will reset the links here. So that way you can kind of adjust them as needed and then re-optimize from there. Okay, so with align bends, let's go into a side view here. So if you've ever come across this situation where your offsets are not quite in line with each other, we do have a feature where you can select your stationary bend, select the rest of them, and what that will do is it will sync them all together. All right, so let's see another version of that feature. So if I hold shift on my keyboard, we have another version of this where you can align your bends in a way that maintains the spacing. So what this will do is it'll take the spacing between the straight pieces and it'll apply that to our offsets here. All right, so let's jump into the next ones here. We've got um, the button at the top right here. So we're gonna do a smart bend multi-trim. We're gonna select the first section, the second one, and then we'll watch that in action. So I'm going to show you this one from a manually rotated view. So this one, I just wanted to show off that it is capable of calculating rolling offsets. So you don't even have to worry about typing in the angle. You don't have to worry about the rotation. Just set it and forget it. So what about a situation that you might have a project where you've modeled it with Revit bends? Um, from there, what you can do is you can actually convert these to an Evolve Smart Bend. So you don't have to delete them out and then replace them. All you have to do is convert it, and now it's set to an offset. Okay. Let's jump out down here to Concentric Bends. So with this feature, you can select your Stub 90s, and it will just automatically calculate how these concentric bends need to be configured to maintain that spacing. Okay, so we've got four different versions of optimized bends. I'm not gonna show you all of them today, but I will go ahead and show you the one on the left here. So this is gonna be a step after your coordination and before your prefab process usually. Um, so what you can do is you can take these bends and maximize their lengths to whatever um, stick standard that you have. So I have mine set to 10 feet, so now you'll see that these total lengths are now 10 feet. Okay, so uh, with our unions, we do have a feature for that as well. So I'm going to do entire path. Usually my spacing would be 10 feet, but I want to make sure I can show you a bunch of them here. So we're going to do three feet, and then we're going to make sure that those are aligning. So I'm going to grab my elements here choose the direction, and that is how that is looking as well. And then I also wanted to show off that this does maintain the connection between all of the elements here. Okay, so that is going to be it for our bends. Definitely reach out to our sales team if you'd like to schedule a demo with us. We'd love to show you. Thanks.